Pilot Edge. All right. Sedona traffic, Alpha Jet, taxi, runway 21, departing to the north, Sedona. Is that what I loaded up as, a 737? <laughs> <laughs> well, concerning. at least <laughs> at least the Falcon was kind of similar. I mean, it's like in the same vein. This thing is like tiny. I've got you as an F four. Well, that's a little. That's better. F four is better. Seven thirty seven max. That's way off. Oh, <laughs> hello. All right, this is this is gonna be sweet. This little jet, for being a, a freeware plane, is really fun. It, it's super easy. It has pretty much everything that you need to fly, at least VFR. Um, but it's it looks pretty good. It sounds okay. I I like it a lot. I've I've flown this. I've flown this probably more than than any of the freeware stuff that I have. Super responsive. It uh, doesn't have a afterburner, so it doesn't get like super crazy fast where you you know you'll like just run out of space or fuel instantly. Of course it taxis fast. But it doesn't it doesn't go that fast. I hope the panel actually works for it. <laughs> Chopper creeper. <laughs> Switching to guns. Sedona traffic, Alpha Jet departing runway 21 to the north. Sedona. Approaching runway 21. Get it. Let's go full, full power. Sounds awesome. <laughs> oh crap. Okay, I don't know any of the speeds. Seems like we're probably going faster than a hundred right now. No, nope, I guess not. There's 120, that seems like it'd be a nice round number to start flying at. <laughs> there goes, goes Chopper Creeper, right over the top. Pull up. Pull up. Um, just Azriel, thank you very much for following, welcome aboard. All right, one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna dial up fingers. We wanna go. We wanna go northbound. Let's see how fast we can get this thing going. Three seventy over the ground. All right, four thirty. This is, of course, ground speed. Four seventy. 
is 500. That's trimmed out pretty nice too. Okay, there's 560. There's 600. I know these are really um, they seem like it's a good a good size for that like private super rich guy wanting a jet air show situation uh, they're really cool looking are we above 10,000 no we're definitely not uh, it's like an L39 but it doesn't suck <laughs> Yeah, when I first downloaded it, I, I did some research on on them, um, and they, I mean, any of these jets that are kind of used as trainers, um, but also as aerobatic planes for other countries, I, I feel like they tend to be pretty good. Um, if you, if you've got a, you know, if you're aerobatic, oh, what's the, um, don't the snowbirds use, like, a variation of this? I thought the snowbirds used. I could be thinking of something totally wrong. Um, used. Oh, the the. That's right. Yeah, and they're um, the side by sides. Okay, so it's holding steady at 600 right now. How's the fuel flow looking? Where is the fuel flow? We have fuel flow. We have fuel. Okay, yeah, we do have, there's the fuel flow. How about I don't? Oh, it's at the bottom, okay. Almost to Grand Canyon already, so that's awesome. Uh, did I tell you about the time I was a thousand feet above opposite direction with the snowbirds? No. In the jet? In one of the jets? Like, in route? That would be really... F I mean, I maybe not. I think it would be fun to ferry some of those planes. That would be cool. Jet scooting around. Nice blow. I just I just pulled up that picture you posted. Hilarious. Yeah, so this is faster than the Bonanza. Six hundred is faster than the Bonanza. Uh, I was flying the XL, John Wayne, Santa Barbara, uh, the day after the air show, traffic gets called out, it's a CT-14, opposite direction, 1,000 feet below, I'm looking for this little white jet assembly, see the nose, landing light, start flashing, and homeboy is popping smoke in That was freaking awesome, dude. <laughs> oh my god, that's so good. Oh, that is really, really cool. Six hundred's good. Six hundred not ground speed. That's covering some distance. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, that might be crazier than my dad's A4. Let's see if it'll do three in one second. One, one thousand. Nah, it's still... That wasn't three full. One, one thousand. Yeah. Dude, three, three rolls in one second is insane. Is insane. My dad used to... Um, put his hands on the canopy and just by kicking the rudder pedal he would get the thing to roll and it would do it a lot quicker than this but he'd have his, just his hands on the canopy and it would do it like way faster than that but I just all all rudder pedals <laughs> that's pretty that's pretty sick he had a uh, he's told the story before a colonel admiral Something important, somebody important, um, get in the back of, I think it was the T2, actually, it had had to have been the T2. Uh, so he's in the T2, they were doing carrier landings, um, and he has, he, um, gets asked to send this guy, uh, back shore, back to the shore with him, puts him in the back. He was the only, uh, pilot that day that, that had a perfect landing and so they they throw this guy in the back he had no idea who it was and he was like hey do you want to see something cool and the guy's like yeah sure so he did that move he puts his hands on the on the canopy kicks the rudders snaps rolls and he's like you know what do you think of that he's like that was awesome he's like you want to you want to do one the other direction he's like yeah so my dad is like just doing all these aerobatic stuff in this jet they get they get back to the base and um, they he he's asked or he's told to taxi to the other side of the airport, away from everyone uh, in his wing, and all these you know unmarked black you know special MP cars are, are out there, and the guy that he was taking to shore was um, uh, what the hell was he? Not that it really matters in the story, but he was like some high-ranking guy, and he was like, "Damn, that was awesome! That was, that was so much fun." So he said, uh, "My dad said, hey, you know, some of the guys and I are uh, are going to the um, the O Club. Would you would you join me?" So he goes in there with whatever this high-ranking guy is into the O Club, and they're just like laughing and having a ball coming in. This is better. So this is what I was wanting to do all the way, all the way up. <laughs> this whole time I was like, I want to, I want to finish this flight. I want to get in the Alpha Jet. And I just want a trench run like crazy. Yeah, that would be fun, Brad. I, I really do need to do that. Don't pull the yoke off the desk. <laughs> I will try not to. <laughs> that was pretty fun. Cool. Okay, this is gonna be a tight one right here. Yeah, that was really fun. Pulls the yoke off the desk and just right into the This is tight. This is some G. Still got, uh, still got power fed in there pretty good. Boy, look, at, look at this nice little, this nice little tunnel here. 
Dude, that looks so sweet. Was that the horseshoe? That's probably like a sustained 5G pole right there. We're gonna gray out. We're gonna gray out. Dude, this is actually kind of money right now. I can feel the G-forces too, which is a pretty weird thing that your brain does. Must have a much cooler gaming chair. No, my brain thinks it's pulling G. I can feel the G forces because my brain does weird things. That would be pretty sweet though. To have like a gravity, have a gravity chair. Yeah, this doesn't look, this does not look half bad. Pop out of this. Holy oh, crap, that looks amazing. This is, this is awesome. This is really freaking awesome. Yeah, this stuff, I don't know if you can even make that. Look at those. Oh, okay, we gotta try that. As soon as I said you can't even, you know that we gotta try it. This, this one could be bad. I'm gonna hover on the E button. We might need to punch out. G-suit is just pushing, pushing the legs in right now. So this is this is doable. We're doing 335 over the ground. So here's the 320. Okay, this is too too tight. Let's climb back out. Oh, all right, that is awesome. I wanted to do that really bad. Is that somebody? Oh, we got we got two bogeys.
yeah, this is the fidelity of the scenery is way better than I thought it was going to be up close. The vertical, the more vertical stuff still looks a little bit jank, but overall that is pretty, pretty nice. What or where? Alpha Jet in the Grand Canyon. And like literally in the Grand Canyon, look at this. You wanna give this a shot? No, you're just full power in a jet, just smoking along. Now we're we're six hundred. Yeah, it's money, dude. It's the price is right. Oh, that one's that one's dead. That one is dead for sure. There's no way we're pulling back that hard at over five hundred knots. Insta dead. I almost, I almost punched out on that one. <laughs> I think it would have been more that it, I would have I would have passed out though. so I don't I don't think I would have been even able to uh, to pull forward. this right now. Feels just like Baker's Canyon. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna get cut across here. But that looks sick. Yeah, look at that. Dude, that looks insane right there. Oh my god, that looks amazing. Break some sound barrier and see if we can get this thing on uh, Grand Canyon West. Uh,
Yeah, I we have uh, pretty pretty much thrown um, all regulations to the wind. Grand Canyon West traffic, Alpha Jet, ten miles to the uh, southeast, inbound, full stop. Destination AWAS is 119.425. Grand Canyon West, Alpha Jet, five miles to the southeast. We're going to cross over and enter a roughly straight in for runway 17, Grand Canyon West. No, the rules definitely do not apply, especially when I'm in Alpha Jet. Dude, <laughs> what up, man? Yes, let, you know what, Owen? Let me, this, I'm right in the middle of landing an Alpha Jet on Twitch, and I just looked down at my phone. I was kind of listening to you and Max here, so we're gonna do, this is on Twitch right now, by the way. Okay, so this is gonna be the one-handed Alpha Jet into North, or West Vegas. Here we go. We're on pilot edge too. At this exact airport? That's where we departed from uh, on this flight. Nice. Yeah. How was it out there? Is it uh, just unbearably hot? Yeah, it was miserable, man. The plane was like a like sauna. It took forever to cool down. By the time we landed, it was still warm. And were you, were you in the, uh, the pasta rocket? Yeah. Nice. All right. Look at this scenery, though. How cool is this? That's badass. Yeah, so I'm full idle right now. This is going to definitely be a crash. Oh, man. I don't even know. There it is. Yeah, there's a, there's a runway. Right, i got to change the views here. There we go. That should help. Okay, so 200. Full, full idle. We are coming in hot. Can you see that okay? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Nice up there. All right. Boy, well, you better get that bad voice lit up. Yeah, I th I'm hoping that there's like a... Oh, God. <laughs> 220 over the numbers? No, no. No. Nope. We're going to have to do it. We're going to have to abort. How do you eject out of this? I know there... There it is. There's eject. We're out. You two characters. There it goes. Are going to There's our poor character. little, our poor little alpha jet. All right. Yeah. So you were just talking to Max, and he's making his way out. From, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, X Plane, for, for that. <laughs> yeah. So Max is coming out with the CJ. Um, I wanted to have a, a fly-in once I got my, my license. Um, you know, with the, with the Twitch community and everybody, it was uh, like a nice excuse to get everybody that it could at least make it out um, to get together in real life. You know, we have, we have the Flight Sim Expo, which happens in Vegas every year. Didn't happen this year. So even with everything that's going on with the the virus and stuff it seems like it's something that we can do uh you know socially distance you know wear masks on the ramp you know it's it's essentially like a motorcycle flying or you know motorcycle ride uh we can keep our distance so we chose french valley nice long runway uh kind of centrally located for guys that are coming up from san diego and then you know in the basin um, we've got about 20 spots that we think are going to be available uh, for parking there. Um, they've got 36 available, um, sure. so who knows how many people will actually show up? It'll you know it's a Saturday, so it's August 15th, and we're planning on getting there around noon, and just kind of hang out. Uh, you know, if the restaurant is doing takeout, just bring it out on the ramp, and you know, yeah. if, 
if they're not, we can go inside and go out on the patio. Yeah, that sounds fun. I've actually never landed at French Valley, so that'd be cool. Yeah, French Valley is pretty nice. It's it's um, Temecula is there's like a lot of dirt bike um, professionals that live out there. A lot of you know action yeah. sport professionals. Um, but there's a big wine country out there that's right next to the airport. Yeah, so it's really pretty um, scenery. It it feels like you're nowhere near Los Angeles or Orange County. So and it's just a short, yeah. short hop over the mountains. But are you are you planning on coming? I don't know. I was Max just brought this up, and I still haven't checked my calendar. But I, I think it sh- should work. August, if it's a weekend, you know, that should be okay. So and if I've got to ride down there. Max, that'd be awesome. So yeah, that would be cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll cool. let you know. But yeah, that sounds like fun. Yeah. So. Nice, dude. Sweet. Well, thanks for the info. I'll let you get back to X plane there. Cool. Sounds good, man. Uh, all right, dude. Take it easy, Bill. All right, dude. You too, on. Thanks. See ya. All right, so that was pretty sweet. Um, 